Welcome back to Pine Tree FPV guys. My name is Cotton and today we're going to be doing a frame build and review video of the Hyperlow X8 frame. This is an 8 inch frame that's meant for cinematics and I'm going to be using it to chase airplanes, cars, and record beautiful cinematics while going very fast and flying very far. Um, I'm going to be using a DJI 03 air unit, a SpeedyB F7 stack, and Axis flying AF 3010 motors. These motors should provide a little bit of extra thrust as they're a little bigger than the typical 8 inch size motor, and that should allow me to keep up with planes and cars and whatever I may need. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into the frame build. So here is everything that comes with the frame. Um, as you can see, it comes with a bottom plate and a top plate. It comes with all the 3D prints. It comes with arms, arm braces, all the hardware and everything you're gonna need. Um, this is the extended GoPro mount, which we're gonna mount onto the top of the frame. That's gonna give us a props free view and allow us to run nine inch props. It also comes with XT90 and XT60 connectors, depending on what you wanna use. And so I'm gonna begin the frame all you need to assemble this frame is a M2 driver that's going to work on all these M3 screws as they have a M2 a millimeter hex on there. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble the frame and you guys are going to be able to watch. So at this point, the frame is about half built. Um, as you can see, we have the arms, the braces, and the main TPU prints assembled. Um, it goes together pretty easy. It's a lot of work unscrewing if you have a manual screwdriver, so I definitely recommend an electric one. Um, so in this build, we're gonna be putting in a DJI 03. That's gonna be mounted here. The camera will be here. And the antennas are gonna come out off to the side uh, and as well as that we are also going to be using a speedy b f7 stack so here's my stack right here you can mount it on those 30 by 30 holes and you'll run the motor wires out to each one so first we are going to mount the esc and then we'll mount the motors and probably the fc last um, it might be a little tricky as this frame is currently upside down but it should be pretty unique definitely all right so i'm gonna get to work on that and we'll see you shortly So here is the electronics done for the drone. Um, as you can see, we've got the DJI air unit installed, the flight controller and speed controller, the GPS run to here, the receiver here, and the motors here and here. So everything is all set. That means we're gonna button up the bottom plate of the frame and get it all together.
What am I, what am I ready for? Yeah. Oh shit. Y'all just lost it. Hold <laughs> on. That's quick, bro. <laughs> Not my best landing. So we just did the first test flight of the Hyperlow 8 inch and it flew amazing. I'm using the PID tune by uh, Hyperlow himself and it flew really well. Uh, it was super smooth, it was super fast. There was a little bit of a weird noise at like super high throttle, but I think that could do anti-gravity setting in beta flight. But I gotta say, it flew amazing. It was so much better than I expected. No vibrations, no jello. This thing flies awesome. I can't wait to get some videos with this. All right, here we go. And let's do it. Let's see. Definitely fix the sound, that's for sure. I mean, this thing flies really, really well. Uh, my previous eight inch had a lot more jitters on the throttle, but this one flies almost as smooth as my five. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the frame. The designer, uh, Richard from LA, he sent me the PID tune and the filters that he used. Now I am running a different set of motors than him. He's running 2812 while I'm running 3010. But his pit and filter tune seems to have worked beautifully because this thing flies so smooth. Right there, there was a little bit of shaking, but I think that's from the wind. It's pretty windy out today. And let's try a little bit of a uh, speed test here. get up to 60 at those high altitudes. Let's try a little lower, there's less wind. 65, 70, okay, not bad. I think a little higher camera angle would definitely help, but that is more than fast enough to chase some carbon cubs. So we've been flying for about a minute and a half right now, and this is a pretty small battery. We are down to about 3.9 volts per cell, but that's not too bad considering how powerful the motors are here. I'm coming in for a little close pass. You ready, Jack? All right, we've been flying for about two and a half minutes. Let's come in for a landing. We're down to 3.8 or so. All right, not too bad. I'm pretty happy with how that flies. So, we just got back and I got a chance to do a couple of flights with the Hyperlow and overall I was really impressed. Um, the frame has been great 
it was pretty easy to assemble, though I did have to go back and change it around a couple times because some of the arms look similar, but they needed to be upside down. But other than that, it was pretty easy to assemble. Um, it does come together upside down, as in the stack and other electronics go in reverse as to how they usually would. So the top of them is facing towards the bottom of the drone, but that can be uh, fixed with a simple beta flight uh, adjustment. It flew really well. I used the tune sent from Richard and it flew great. There was super smooth, even on full throttle punches, unlike my last build. And it flew great because of that. Um, there were not a lot of vibrations. I did not have to do a lot of extra tuning. Um, it looks really good in the air and it, it's just such a cool looking frame. So I really like it. Uh, I am gonna be using this to chase things, go fast and for some, some long distance, but I would say this is definitely a frame for someone who is probably doing like commercial jobs, maybe has to chase expensive vehicles or something like that, or to carry a big camera. Um, the frame is pretty expensive. It comes in about $240. I would say for like your average builder who maybe wants to freestyle, this might not be the frame, but if you're looking to do anything cinematic, I would definitely recommend the Hyperlow X4 8 inch. Uh, and finally, I just wanted to say thank you for Richard for getting it to me so quick. This is not a paid sponsorship. I bought this with my own money and I really enjoyed the drone. So I'm going to be flying it and making videos with it for you guys. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you around. And enjoy this chase footage.